Hey, are your designs still looking like this? Well, I have a solution for you, my friend. You want to go from that into this? Oh, and every other design as well. I just show those examples. Listen to some music while designing because it's just it's just kind of fun. If you want to get my playlist, it's in the description if you want it. I don't know if you want it, but it's just my music. But yeah, definitely listen to some music. Use Behance for inspiration. This is something that I do and a lot of people do. Like you just go on Behance.com and you go in your for you thing and then you just scroll and find a design you want to use as inspiration. This is what a lot of people use and it's very good. So just click on someone's profile, just scroll through their things and you can use this as inspiration. This is my profile actually. It's a link in the description if you want to check it out. But yeah, you just use this as inspiration. Just click on it and you can see everything. And yeah, that's just basically how I do it. Watch a lot of speed arts and tutorials. So I do recommend watching a lot of speed arts and tutorials because speed arts, you can like do everything they do and slow it down and stuff. And tutorials, of course, it just speaks for itself. So of course, my tutorials, my speed arts and yeah, check it out. This is probably one of the fastest ways to learn how to make like graphic design stuff is by watching, of course, speed arts and tutorials. I do recommend doing it. I know it takes some time and maybe boring, but you have to do what you got to do, you know? Creativity is key. You want to keep your designs as most like creative designs you can like your brain can think of. You just want to have a very, very creative. Creativity is key, basically. Uh, if you want to get good or like known for something as a designer, you got to be creative. You got to have your own type of style and be creative. Always fill out space when it comes to designs like these. So when it comes to designs like these, you want to fill out all the space. You want to have no empty spaces. You want to have as much fucking stuff you can. All right, so the next step, I mean, the next trick is going to be or oh, this is a trick all the five one previous one were tips this is a trick so here's the final touches this is how you add final touches so this is an almost final touch thing well i already added a bit of final touches but I, this is the best i could find so basically what you want to do is you want to add glows how you add glows is you want to press ctrl j copy the layer you want to press filter blur gaussian blur put it to 10 then you want to press on lighten and you want to press on 70 70 percent around 70 to like 50 percent and then what you want to do you want to copy this layer then click on linear dodge add and you do want to do like 12 percent and you actually want to go to blur radio blur and have these settings on right here so you amount 10 spin and best i mean good quality and then click ok and it's going to look something like this see how it's more glowy than it was like look see how more glowy that is and then what you can also do is you can add cc so you can merge all of this and once you've done that, you can actually add CCs, uh, which are in my pack. So let me just load my pack. Up. All right, so we, he, we, blah, 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 I can't speak. All right, so here we are in my graphics pack. We're going to drag the CCs in GMAPs layer. We're going to hide this or delete that. And we're going to try out the Grady maps. So here we're going to try out the Grady maps and see what's best. See how that looks like already pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, these are all Grady maps that are in my pack. Uh, yeah. Uh, so... Should we just go for like a purplish or bluish? Let's just go for bluish. Alrighty. So we're going to go for this bluish type of thing. Uh, and we're going to remove all of these because we don't need the rest. And now we're going to go to the CCs. Uh, so as you can see, you can add a bit of CCs. We can turn the opacity down as well in the CCs. So we're just going to add all the CCs and check how it looks at the end. Hopefully it looks good. So this is my final touch tutorial. I always do this. This is the most important probably part of the whole header that you're making. So I really want you guys to pay attention. Just put on all CCs to make it look good. Like this looks already better. Uh, okay, I'm not going to go through all of them, but uh, yeah. Going to look something like this. All right. So now once you've done that, you can just delete all of the ones you don't want by holding control and shift and basically you know how to delete layers okay all right. there we go so this is before i mean this is before and this is after cc's how you see how much of a difference that is it's actually insane but this that's not done you're not done when you're doing uh just that you know because there's more to it what you want to do is you want to press camera raw filter but actually you want to merge your layer first uh that's what i forgot to say so merge these hold control and then e to merge boom and now do camera raw filter and now what you want to do is you want to mess around with these settings. Try to make the best possible looking thing, of course. Boom, boom. Change up the curves a bit. Uh, I'm not going to do too much, of course, because um, I'm just trying to show you guys. Uh, but yeah, optics, just put like this distortion on 10. 
there we go. And now we can make this a bit bigger. There you go. All right, so uh, this is before. This is after. You know how much better that is? That's so much clearer and stuff. But yeah, you're still not done. Basically, what you can still do is you can create another layer by uh, Control J. And then you want to do Filter Gallery. And once you've done that, you can do Paint Daubs to make it look even better. So merge that and then press Control J. And now what you want to do is you want to press Filter Gallery again. And now what you want to do is you want to... You can basically do anything you want. Like, you can pick any of these. But there's a specific thing I want to show you guys. Uh, so let's just say I'm going to use Chrome. Uh, if there is any Chrome things, isn't there? Yeah, this Chrome right here. So look, I'm just going to put this over here, right? What you can do... I, it's probably not going to work for this header, but like probably you can do this for like text and stuff. But yeah, what you can do is you can select like this filter thing on. And then you want to change it to like lighten or something. So like this. See how like different that is? And like overlay. Let's try overlay. Yeah, that looks way better. Well, you need... You, it definitely works for like text or something. But you know what I mean? All right. Here is the zoom effect tutorial thing. So what I want you guys to do is basically control J this layer right here. And you want to do filter, blur, radio blur. And you want to press on zoom. Once you've done that, it's going to look like this. But you, that, you don't want it to look like this. So you want to press on the brush tool. You want to hold alt and then drag it to the right. Make it bigger and drag it up and down to put the hardness down. So what you want to do is just want to... There we go. Just have it like this. So it's only on the edges. And that's basically it for the zoom effects. All right. Here's another tutorial for the glow effect. Uh, so basically what you want to do is you want to press solid color. You want to press on a color you want to use as your glow uh, so like let's say i want blue glow so we're going to use this and you want to press on this you want to press Control i and now what you want to do is you want to put the flow a bit down up here and now you can just press on stuff and now you see how like it creates a little glow you can do the same thing for the hearts and stuff so like you look you can add a bit of glow to the hearts like this I just want to keep making it bigger, bigger, bigger. So like that. You see how it like glows like stuff? You can do the same thing for eyes. I'll show you that later in the tutorial. But yeah, you can see how it adds glow. Always pick high quality pictures. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's say you want a picture of an apple. You don't want to pick this. This could be low res. Okay, well, it's, it's not bad. But this is kind of low res. Okay, you see how low quality that is? Like that's kind of low quality. What I want you guys to do is you want to press on this tools. If you don't have this tools option, uh, then I don't know. You should have it. All right. So you press on this tools, press the size and you do uh, large. You want to pick large as size. And here you're going to have the highest possible quality apples now. Uh, so, yeah, you can do the same with here, like color. You can do transparent. So if you want transparent ones where it doesn't have a background, now these ones don't have a background. So, yeah, basically, that's that's how you do that to be able to make glowing eyes like this and also a custom color eyes like this and keep watching all right so i'm gonna use my boy Annelie chopper whopper so what we're gonna do is we're gonna search for blue eyes so blue eyes i'm gonna give him blue eyes so what you want to do search for blue eyes search a png and you're gonna find pretty good blue eyes all right so it does not matter what you pick just as long as it's blue it's blue all right so you just let's just say this color right here bluish blue yep perfect you're going to put that here. You want to remove this by using that. Yup, yup, yup. And now what you want to do is, I haven't done this in a long time, but what you want to do, you want to size it down to the eyeball. Make it look very, very like this. Now what you want to do is you want to just use a razor tool, make it smaller, put the hardness on max, which that's not max. And what you do, low max, there you go. Now what you want to do is just that. It's that simple. I know. Yep, there we go. And yep, looks kind of weird. But what you can do is just pass a bit. There we go. Here's one eye done. And we're going to do the same with another eye. What is the next eye? Uh, Just like this. You just delete that. You just... Right, dude. So just do the same with the other eye. Actually, I got kind of lazy. So what what you want to do after that? You actually want to do uh, you want to create a new layer. Want to make that bigger? You want to use the same blue you use for the eye type of thing. Now what you want to do is you want to put the hardness on zero, and you just want to press top of this like 
that and yeah okay we only got this side and what you want to do is you want to put put it on over i mean soft light you want to copy it you want to put this on overlay and you want to put the opacity down so it looks something like this uh just like that and once you have done that what you want to do is you want to press solid color you want to do the glow thing that i just showed you guys yeah yeah in this tutorial so you want to do the exact same thing as i did in this tutorial and yeah Blow a bit down. Just like that. And now you can put the levels down on Enley Chopper himself. And it will look like this. Yeah, it was glowing. It'll look like it's glowing. And now you can do filter, camera raw filter. And you can mess around. So put the exposure a bit down, put the contrast a bit up. Extras a bit, put this up, put this up, put this down, down, up, down. There we go, and boom, there we go. I hope you guys did enjoy this little thing, yeah, yeah. Bonus tip, use my packs on my pay hip, and I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Smash a like and subscribe, and see you guys in the next video. Uh, see ya, I really do suggest these.